this video, I'm going to be breaking down a little U-Trips mini scheme. If you guys want to get my entire U-Trips offensive ebook, it's going to be available by becoming a member of our school.com website. That website is going to feature content for both Madden and college football. All of our offensive and defensive ebooks are included with your membership, and the membership is only $10 a month. So if you want to sign up for that, the link's going to be down in the description below. Now, our audibles for this little mini scheme is we're going to have the curl flat, pat slot out, scat, and tight end whip. Our base play for this is going to be wide option wheel. It's one of the best plays in the entire scheme. And it's going to be very simple and effective for us to be able to maximize our efficiency. What I'd like to recommend for abilities at this point in the year is Hot Route Master. If you can get access to that, it just makes the formation a little bit better. If you can't get access to that and you have to choose one route ability, I really recommend the tight end apprentice. Our first setup for that is going to actually feature a tight end apprentice setup. What we're going to do is we're just going to corner out our tight end, and then we are just simply going to snap the ball. Now, what I like to do here real quick is I always like to look out to that fade and that flat combo, make sure they're playing disciplined coverage. Typically, what that's going to do is if they are able to cover those two receivers, then that tight end is going to be open to the sideline, as you can see right there. Now, the next read on this play, just in terms of kind of if the user decides, hey, I'm going to go take that tight end away, then what we're going to be able to do is we're going to work this backside two-man game where this nice little post route is going to get into a soft spot against the coverage, against really any coverage that they're going to want to play. Now, another thing that a lot of people will like to try to do from time to time against U-Trips is they will actually play cloud flat coverage on that outside. This is where I like to take my check down and just take this simple flat route as it's one of the most underrated routes in this formation. That simple flat route can be the difference between, you know, a good U-Trips and a great U-Trips by the ability to take the flat route every single time. Now, the running back is kind of a, a, a read here, but it's simply designed for any kind of pressure. So if they're going to send pressure at you, uh, a lot of times this year they really won't cover the flat. So what you'll see here is we have this little quick wheel that contain actually picked that off. That's actually crazy. I'll show it to you out of uh, a little bit more of an accurate blitz concept here. Let me get to that for you guys. I can't believe he picked that off. Um, but it would look something like, like this. So of course, they're gonna have to go to the tight end in this coverage shell. And so because they're gonna have to go to the tight end, this is why we wanna just kind of peek the running back. So we look out there, oh, that's dead, but we have the running back open on the flat. We just take that combo. As you see, super, super simple and effective. Now the next combo that we're gonna be showcasing here at a Y option wheel is really effective for uh, essentially double flatting. Uh, which is what they're going to have to do to stop this play. So the best way to stop this play is they're going to go to a cover two base coverage. They're going to have a cloud flat on the outside, a hard flat or a man up on that slot receiver. And then they are going to be able to kind of use her in the middle field and take that post route. Now the post, the backside could look a lot of different ways. What I find a lot of people like to do is something like this with a, with the hook curl underneath. And typically they're going to use her this defender right here. So this next defense is going to do a really good job of kind of attacking the middle of the field and spacing out well. So what we're going to do with this next setup is we are going to drag our tight end. We're going to block our running back so we have some additional protection. We're going to streak our slot receiver, and we're going to in route our outside trips receiver. What this is going to do is this streak is going to clear out so that you'll be able to actually throw this post route over the top of the deep cloud flat all the way across the sideline. And so what this is going to do is it's going to pull the user out of the middle of the field. So if you think about it, the user is, is, is typically going to want to stay in the middle of the field because it can allow him to cover the most ground. So this is going to force him to have to get out of the middle of the field, and he's actually going to have to almost play like a mid-read defender. But practically speaking, you know, he's going to essentially go back to the post. So I'm just going to illustrate that with the middle third. And even if they're playing really good coverage on the back end and dropping eight, which not always will they do this, you're going to see why this play is so good because this backside in route is going to come right underneath, perfect timing, and you see it's going to have a lot of space to be able to maneuver over there on the left-hand side. Now, what I like to do whenever I start to experience a lot of double flatting, especially cover two to the right side, is I like to take advantage of that with this next setup out of Y option wheel. So this next setup at a Y option wheel is really effective for manipulating any kind of cover two coverage. And that cover two can look a variety of ways. A lot of times they're just going to simply cloud flat these outside guys and they might roll the coverage and play cover three on the left and cover two on the right. But in general, it's going to basically lead to the same basic read, which is this simple concept that's going to do a really good job. So oftentimes this player right here is going to actually be manned up on the slot just from 
understanding you know how they how they would play it another thing they might do is they might double flat they might vert hook in but rarely will they do that typically this is going to be a man up okay so what we're going to do uh, with this route combination is we are just going to streak the tight end you can honestly snap the play just like this if you want to what i like to do is simply take the running back and either put him on a ghost route a texas route or just block him i think it's just simple to block him as well the main thing we're looking for here is this outside fade route against the cover two as you see you could throw this to the right away from that deep half and give yourself a really good chance to be able to manipulate that cover two coverage over to the wide side of the field so what this is going to do is we're now going to start to manipulate that cover two to the right and they're going to start to run more cover three base coverages and then they're just going to essentially use the tight end so what i like to do uh, to kind of counter the cover three base coverages is to play little games here on the back side so a couple different things that we can do on this back side and it's really where we're going to get back into that tight end apprentice and the best play, in my opinion, for this is this play Pat slot out. So we are we do have an ability to have a tight end apprentice here. You don't have to have this, but essentially what I like to do is just take the tight end and put him on a tight end apprentice post route, and then I'm going to put the running back on a table route. So we have a nice high-low read here to the left-hand side. Typically, that tight end apprentice post is going to get wide open against a cover three or a cover four base coverage, and this is how we're going to start to really attack that left side of the screen now it wouldn't be a u-trips offensive ebook if i did not show you a motion over setup a great motion over setup is out of the play curl flat and what we're going to do is we are going to actually go ahead and drag our tight end we're going to block our running back streak our solo wide receiver and we're going to in route that backside outside trips receiver from there we're just going to motion this corner route across the formation we're going to snap the ball about right here of course, I snapped it one tick too early. Want to obviously snap it once he passes the tackle, not so that he blocks. But essentially what's going to happen with this play is we are going to have a nice high-low read over here to the left side of the screen. And this corner route, this post is going to turn himself into a corner route. As you see, it gets into a nice soft spot against cover four and cover three base coverages, meaning they're going to have to start manning people up, making more adjustments than they want to. Speaking of man coverage, one of my favorite setups for attacking man coverage in this game is back to that Y option wheel or tight end whip play. Tight end whip is really good against man coverage because you have this tight end uh, little zig. And so what I like to do against man, if I know that it's man coverage, I love to just wheel the running back. I'm going to streak the outside uh, trips receiver and I'm going to drag the slot receiver. Essentially what this is going to do is if it's a cover one coverage, Oftentimes, I can either hit the drag or the wheel route. Uh, if they don't have safety help over the top, this is normally pretty pretty simple. The other thing about cover one robber press specifically that I did want to talk about and just briefly mention out of the play tight end whip is the outside streak. The outside streak often can get a little bit more separation than you might think, and the wheel route on the left side can also kind of manipulate that. So what this causes the opponent to have to start to do is they have to kind of go to a double deep half type of coverage where they're going to be able to take away the wheel route deep and then they're also going to be able to take away the uh, fade route on the right hand side so then we're able to work the middle with these three man beating routes right in the middle of the field whether it's the tight end whip route the post route or the slot drag something is going to always be able to manipulate and attack man coverage now if you do have the ability to have a outside apprentice, one of my favorite defenses, if you ever start to see somebody decide that they're gonna play cover two on you, I think this is one of the best route combinations out of U-trips. And really what we're trying to accomplish again is we're just trying to manipulate that left-hand side. So this is gonna be out of the play scat. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna post the outside uh, receiver. We are going to flat our tight end, and then we are going to in route our solo wide receiver because of this wheel route on the left side it's going to pull the deep half on the left and the deep half on the right is going to get pulled by the corner and as you see this post is going to be able to be a big play over the top if you guys want to get my entire u-trips offensive ebook this is just a sneak peek 
You can get the full ebook by becoming a member of our school.com community. The link to sign up for the website is going to be down in the description below. And just a reminder that that membership is going to get you access to both Madden and college football content. So you'll be able to get all of our offensive and defensive ebooks for both games. Guarantee you to become a better Madden or college football player if you sign up. The link is going to be down in the description below.